Hey there, future nurse. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about all things NCLEX. My name is Nurse Jess. I'm a registered nurse, a CCRN, and a current nurse practitioner student. So you might be asking yourself, what brings me to open up a YouTube channel? Well, throughout my career, I have found that I truly love helping nursing students and new grad nurses find the confidence when taking and passing the NCLEX. So let's get to it. If you are starting to study for your NCLEX or if you have already taken the exam, Let's run through everything you need to know about this exam. So who creates the NCLEX? The NCLEX is created by the National Council of State Board of Nursing, or the NCSBN. This governmental entity decides if you are above the passing score on this exam, then you are deemed a safe, competent novice nurse. Now, a lot of you have probably heard of the new generation NCLEX, which is starting in April of 2023. So over the years, the NCLEX is always adapting. As a nursing student or a healthcare professional, I'm sure you've heard that medicine is always changing. So these exams are always changing. They cannot be the same throughout the years. And why is this new generation NCLEX changing? Because over the past few years, the national governmental entity that is the NCSBN found that new grad nurses are actually caring for more critically ill patients. So they wanna make sure that everybody who is going out into this new field is competent and capable to practice safely. Now, let me put some of your anxiety at ease because I know taking a new exam can be extremely overwhelming. The content between the two exams is not going to fluctuate that much. Let's think about it. If we have heart failure, for example, we have select all that applies commonly on the NCLEX that have you differentiate what's the difference between right-sided heart failure and left-sided heart failure. However, on the new generation NCLEX, you will still have these two signs and symptoms for both right and left side heart failure, but they may ask you, which patient is trending down and going towards an acute exacerbation? Are you able to identify a patient who is decompensating? Now that we've talked a little bit about the NCLEX and the new generation NCLEX, we're going to dive into what style of exam the NCLEX is. So the NCLEX is a computerized adaptive test or a CAT test, okay? I'm going to change the screen here. I recorded a short and sweet TikTok video about this style of exam. Okay, so this is the graph that I use to explain to my students what a CAT exam is. So right here we have our passing line. So this passing line doesn't have a specific percentage assigned to it. However, if you are above that line at the end of the exam, then you are considered a safe practicing nurse. So how do we get above this line? Let me explain. When you get your first question on the NCLEX, if you get this question right, then the next question is gonna get harder, right? Because the exam is under the impression that you have a 50% chance of getting the next question correct. If you get the question wrong, then the question is gonna get easier because it's banking that you have a 50% chance of getting it right. So your goal during this exam is to string about five to six questions correct so that you're well above the passing line, okay? And if you walk out of that test and you're like, that was the hardest test of my life, take a deep breath. You probably did so well that you were way above the passing line, okay? Let's wrap up this video and talk about the last few things you need to know about the NCLEX and the NGN. So for your NCLEX, if you are taking it before April of 2023, then you're going to have a minimum of 75 questions and a maximum of 145 questions. Now, if you're taking the new generation NCLEX, you're going to have a minimum of 85 questions and a maximum of 150 questions. You will have five hours to complete this exam. The last thing that I always like to mention with the minimum amount of questions is 15 are experimental questions. Now, what does that even mean? So basically, the NCSBN is throwing in these experimental questions to see, okay, does this accurately assess if a nurse is going to be safe and competent when they pass this exam? Is it a good question to evaluate their skills? Now, these questions aren't going to be labeled experimental questions, but how does this help with your testing anxiety? It's common on the NCLEX or when doing practice questions that you come across a question that has a diagnosis you have never seen before or a medication that you've never studied in pharmacology or saw in clinicals, okay? Now, when you come across these questions, take a deep breath and tell yourself this is probably experimental. Answer the question, click next, and move on, okay? I hope that this video has helped you understand the NCLEX a little bit better. 
please like, share, and subscribe to my page. Comment below if you have any topics that you want me to cover on this channel. I am here for you guys, okay? So you got this, and I'll see you soon.